hello hello welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back to the wrapped and scraps channel you guys know i like to come in and do little quick clips and share with you guys certain things that i'm doing around the house or different diy projects home decor project fashion items i buy things like that so today what are we talking about my friend well i'm in my closet as you can see right i'm in my closet and I'm a purse, purse person. <laughs> I do like a good handbag. Um, now, all of my handbags are authentic. Um, all of them are, except for two. And I wouldn't even say authentic because it's not a, um, it's not a, it's not, uh, doesn't have the name brand on it. Okay. It has a plain label on it, but it, it looks just like the real deal. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. As you can see from the thumbnail, I love a Brahmin bag. Okay. Now, I don't have many. I only have three that I purchased and two I bought from Timu. These are my Timu. Well, three. Yeah, no, three. Three I bought from Timu. You can see up here with my different Brahmin bags. Now, three are real, three are not. Three are, um, just look-alikes but they're not uh, a replica because they don't have anything that says Brahmin on them I don't like to do that um, if I'm gonna go ahead and get something that looks like a certain purse I'll just get it it doesn't have to sh say the name brand because then I feel like you're faking the funk right so um wonder if you guys can guess which three are and which three aren't you are familiar with Brahmin don't look at the label that's cheating Okay, those are the ones at the top, and then I've got one back there. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my Brahmin look like from Timu. Let's get into it. Um, I'm a fan of Timu now. My new little uh, best place to buy things, especially when it comes to nails or little accessories for your shoes clothes purses things like that so yeah i'm more dangerous on the team site than in a casino and i have been having the time of my life i actually have a whole nother order coming right now now i've ordered from tumu three or four times they've gotten about a nice amount of my money by now okay so i'm going to share with you guys like i said um i bought three of these purses from timu um Again, when I am buying a purse, all of my handbags are authentic. I don't like to buy a bag with a name brand on it if it is not that name brand. That's just my standard. I don't mind buying a purse that looks like a name brand, but I don't want the name on there if it's not the actual brand. Each to, to each his own. Okay, that's how I feel. So out of all the purses in my um, closet here, there's only three that are not... Um, I won't even say they're not authentic because they're authentic to their brand, which is not Brahmin, but they look just like Brahmin. So let me share that with you. Okay. We're going to, and then we'll do some comparisons because that's important. So let me pull them down. I have the Caroline. I'll show you guys that in a second. I have videos on that with the matching uh, pieces of uh, uh, makeup pouches and all that. You guys know, if you know, I love to match my purse to my makeup bag and my wallet, all that jazz. I get the wallet, and then if I can't find a makeup bag that actually goes with the purse, I'll make one that looks like it goes with the purse. I am a crafter. I have a whole craft room, do DIYs, all that stuff. So I'll, I'll do that, and I'll show you guys some examples in just a minute. So this is the first one that I got. If you're familiar with Brahmin, you know what Brahmin looks like, okay? All right, and I'm going to tell you the differences. Okay, now as far as this purse goes, let me get a, I don't have another one shaped like this by Brahmin, but let me grab my Caroline Wonderland. Let me show you her. Okay, so this is the Caroline Wonderland by Brahmin. Isn't she so pretty? You see that? Do you see why I bought that? Look at her. Girl, she's just showing out. She is just showing her whole butt. Okay, so that's her. Now comparison i'm looking at it so far the difference in the handles this handle is sealed shut 
and this one has like the little tube okay the hardware the hardware is good in the inside um on the outside from the ones i've seen like this it looks exactly the same there's no difference it looks exactly the same let me open it okay that is the inside of the purse the inside if you guys can see that The inside of this purse looks almost identical to the Brahmin inside. Aside from in the inside of the Brahmin, it literally says Brahmin. I'll show you that in a minute. So in the inside of the Brahmin purse, there's a lot of little letterings in there, as you can see, that say Brahmin, okay? It has also a little bit of leather right here on the top of the zip, okay? This one does not, doesn't have that little bit of leather up there on the top of that zip, all right? But everything else in the inside looks exactly the same, even the stitch line down the middle, all right? Again, this does not have Brahmin on it anywhere. Now, the strap is very similar to Brahmin. Even at the end, it has the little swivels, just like the Brahmin has. I'll pull her strap out. Um, Thickness wise, Brahmin strap is a little thicker, but they both have the swivel and this Brahmin has the clip is different, as you can see. And it actually says Brahmin on here. And here, of course, it has no name. Um, length, length of the straps are about the same, okay? Now on Brahmin strap, it has this extra thing here that you can slide up and down. And it has those those balls that you can adjust. So you adjust it by the balls on the strap versus with this one, it's just the buckle. Okay. Um, let's tear them upside down. So they both have the little feet, which is nice. Brahmin's bottom, this bottom part here is a lot more hard, in my opinion. Not noticeably, but just because... I know my stuff. I noticed that. So that's the difference in the two purses that I see. Okay. Um, I would have to get a real bra, uh, like a Brahmin bag that that is this shape in order to tell you if, if it's the exact same on that one. That's the side of it. Okay. Back has a zippy in the back. This one has the little pocket. All right. But again, they're different purses. This is the Caroline and this, I don't know what this one would be called in a Brahmin, but, um, yeah. Oh, look, since I said I was going to show you the makeup, I'm digging my makeup bag and, uh, what is this called? My pocketbook wallet slash wallet drawer. So this is the matching bag that I made for the Brahmin. Okay. So whenever I use this purse, I use this bag, and this is the wallet to the actual Brahmin. Okay, now let's compare wallets. I'm going to show you the other person, then we'll compare the real wallet versus the Timu wallet. Okay, Brahmin versus Timu. So, we put her back, and so I showed you that purse. This one's the exact same thing, except for this one came with a wallet. The other one did too, but I think it's on back order, so I haven't gotten it yet. I decided to go with these and I didn't want to have to pay another $400, four or five, $600 because anytime I buy a purse, I usually buy the wallet. Okay. So let me go over the wallet. Now I have a real wallet in Melbourne. Um, this is a real one. As you can see, it says Brahmin on there and let me open it for you. Okay. I have the matching purse up there. This wallet is not, uh, the real one okay as you can see it is nameless but let's do a comparison um i'm gonna have to use the wonderland wallet just because they're both the tri fold wallets okay so size wise first of all this wallet it it comes with a lot <laughs> okay this has got lots of things going on a pen section and a, a check section and all kind of stuff so this one is going to be bigger regardless okay but let's do a comparison on um, how it looks in the inside. 
Now, right away, you see the two are opposite, okay? This one has the card holder slots at the top. This one has the card holder slots at the bottom, okay? This one has a little check thing. Of course, like I said, this one's a bigger wallet anyway. But this one's, the only thing that I see that is different between these wallets, and you can see this when I open it. If you look in here, that's fabric. If you look in here, it's like a felt. You see that? It's more like a felt of some sort. Um, same thing here. I think they put the felt so it can be thicker, so the wallet could feel thicker. But the feel of the wallet, of course, this one's real leather. This one, I don't know. I don't think it's leather. It could be. I don't know. That's how good it's tricking me. It smells like leather. It smells like leather. But those are the two wallets. Now, the sides, um, this one's edge is folded over the leather is folded over the edge this one they did that whole little melty corner thing okay the stitches the stitches look good i'm a stitch snob so if i buy some real leather them stitches better be straight okay you can see the stitches on this wallet you can also see the stitches on this wallet okay they both come with a little snap closure that's the real Brahmin again. Here is the look alike. I won't say dupe because it's not even a, it's a dupe, but it's not a dupe because it doesn't have the name on it. All right, so those are the wallets. And um, so those are those two. Now let me show you what else. Let me move him. I got. There's another wallet. Now, this one to me is a good comparison to the Melbourne. Again, this one's real. This one is not. And I'll show you the backpack in a minute. So, in comparison with these two, let's open them up. And there's more of a noticeable difference here. Again, the, the ID section is in the opposite side. They're about the same size. Okay. The stitches on here are pretty good. Pretty good stitches. Okay. Here's the original. Let's turn it to the back and then we'll go show you some other things on there. Okay, here's that zipper on the lookalike. Here's the original. You can see it says Brahmin on the little zippy. Now, this is the same thing with the inside of the wallet. This one even a little, in my person opinion, a little worse because they really tried to make it thick. So it has that felt. And you can see the little stitch lines in there. Again, who's going to be looking in there? Nobody but you, but still. Okay. They could have made that a little bit better, in my opinion. But it is thick on both sides. Um, and, of course, in this one, it has the fabric. Now, the biggest difference to me is the little felt in there, as well as the second biggest difference in the two wallets is, again, this one, if you look at the edging, that leather is folded over. And stitch down do you see that on the edge here it's folded over and stitched down on this one you see they did that whole melted thing again like they did on the handles of the purse which is fine it still looks great and this color see if it's picking it up right yep it is it's a really beautiful blue so when you close it it is thicker as you can see close that close that you can see the difference right there okay but and the label of course here is thinner and longer with the name brahmin on the real one and the one that just look alike a fashionable look alike is not okay so let's look at the backpack oh sorry louie i didn't drop licorice on the floor hold on I named my purses. Black licorice is that one. Okay. The wallet anyway. Okay. Oh, and since we're looking at black licorice, I might as well show y'all. So I made a matching makeup pack for her too. I, I named my purses. As you can see, she's black licorice. Okay, so this is her makeup bag. That's real leather. I used it from an a old skirt that I had wanted to repurpose that so that's what i mean when i say repurpose recycle and reuse okay so here we have a little cute little backpack again inspired by <laughs> okay 
let's open her the zips on these are good i will say that the zips are good <clears throat> take her stuffing out of her get a good look of her <clears throat> sorry you guys my allergies are like kicking my butt today so bear with me i didn't leave the house today i, just, I literally did not leave the house i stayed in the house i got dressed but i ain't gonna run all right so let me tilt the camera so you guys can see inside of her all right so it's so dark all right so as you can see inside of her everything looks good everything looks good now i don't have now i i don't have any brahmin backpacks this was be a, my first little look-alike right here so i can't compare it to anything but very nice backpack solid nice hardware nice straps the bottom's nice nicely built love the little um spot in the front right so nice nice little backpack she's cute and i love her little top handle all right so now let's talk about some prices my friend so normally if i buy a brahmin bag which i, I when i buy them so the purse was 375 this wallet was two something just because it's so big they have several different kinds you can pick from okay so 375 two something you're paying again about almost 700 dollars. okay so same thing with uh this melbourne the melbourne one here same thing with that set as well okay so again i wanted to um i just wanted to buy a few more some that had that same kind of design now i completely forgot to tell you guys how much i paid for the timu purses so i paid 23 dollars 95 for the purse and I think I paid about $19 for the wallet. Yes, $23. So I would say it's a good deal. Anyhow, that is that. So let me show you what they look like on, okay? Or how would you wear them? Just like this, okay? We wear it like that because it's too small to go, at least for my little juicy arm. It's too small to go way up there. So we wear it like that, okay? So there's this one. She's cute. She's really cute. We can wear her. Oh, we can wear her. Really cute. Nice little summer bag. I have the perfect outfit that I'm going to wear with this one. Let me show you for her. Again, a Timu outfit, you guys. Timu, okay? Timu. It's a long skirt outfit that I have. But look at that. See? Little crop top shirt. The skirt comes down about right here long little skirt crop top shirt nice little handbag can y'all see that okay so little crop top long skirt you can either make the skirt go here it's a long skirt it can either come down here or you can bring it up because it's almost like a uh, palter top uh, skirt you can bring it all the way past your boobies and make that a dress but it has this little cute little shirt with it okay so i thought this purse would go so well with it perfect little look there okay i hope the light's catching it you guys i can't find my ring light <laughs> and let's see what earrings would we go with with this earrings earrings with this one or i can also pull out my pineapple bag if i wanted to could be a summer thing if you wanted to make it like tropical it has a long strap in here y'all there's a long strap so you can strap that if you wanted to do that you could or this one has a strap as well not as vibrant though you could do that you could pair it with that one Isn't that cute you see that that works okay so stuff like that is why i bought these um, I just wanted to make sure that I had a few that, you know, what with other things aside from the ones I have already. 
Now, um, all right, so those are the ones that I got. And um, I got some new jewelry as well. I'll be sharing that with you guys at a later time. Um, I also got a few things from Sassy Jones that I'll be sharing with you guys. Well, actually, share right now. But you'll be seeing this again because I'm going to be altering it. You guys know I like to repurpose things. So this is actually a good time for me to show you this because you see the shirt I have on now. It's like a little flowy shirt, right? Just a little flowy shirt. I love shirts like this. Or you can wear them with tights. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Okay. Love shirts like this. So I ordered this scarf, oversized scarf from Sassy Jones, okay? And I'm gonna be making this scarf into one of these, okay? And then I'm also going to print out some water paper and make me some nails that match this because again, we've been into the nails here lately. So I'm gonna make me some nails that match this and I've also bought from Miss Sassy Jones. If you want to see Miss Sassy Jones, here's her her scan there. Okay, beautiful uh, lady with great ideas, great great style, and of course attitude is great too. Okay, so she also does tableware. Okay, she does clothing, accessories, jewelry. All of that jazz, and she does tableware as well. So she has some napkins. I don't wrinkle this one all up, but I'm going to be doing a DIY with the napkins to make some shoes. I gotta order some though. Like I bought some yellow shoes. I just needed a pair of yellow shoes to go in my little yellow outfits. But I'm going to be covering this shoe, one like this, with the fabric with some epoxy on top so that it's shiny. And really pretty to match the silk scarf right and then I'll have some matching shoes to go with the matching nails to go with the little thing I'm making like this and I have four more left or two more left after that so I'm thinking I'll make a makeup pouch because I'm probably gonna order the purse in this fabric and then I'll have a little bit of fabric left so I might go ahead and bust out some earrings or a bracelet or something like that y'all know how I do if you know you know Okay, so that's what that's going to be doing. But isn't it beautiful? I also have this shirt to go with this. So on the days I want to wear a dress, especially be able to make this into a beautiful, colorful dress. But I also do have her shirt in the same pattern. So if I want to dress it up or if I want to wear some tights with it, I don't really wear jeans that much. But if I want to wear some tights with it or a skirt with it or you know, throw a nice blazer on with it or whatever. I could do that with the shirt. And then when I want to be more flowy and more, you know, then I can go ahead and put on the, the this. And this one's actually a little bigger than what I'm wearing. So I'm assuming it'll be just a tad bit longer, which is nice because this one comes up a little short, a little bit. But I like that. I like that. But if I'm going to wear it as a dress, because you could put a belt on with it and just make it a dress. Or just, you know, put a little skirt um not skirt shorts bodysuit underneath it that's black and make it a dress that way if you do bend over something everybody don't see all your business right so this one's a little bit longer so it'll probably hit about right there which is even better so i'm really excited about my little project but i want to make sure i got my measurements and everything right because i'm using this as a template being that this is one of my favorite ones and um yeah so we'll probably be doing that next week okay because I think I might want to wear this for Easter. That's my thought. In my little matching shoes. Alright. So we're going to be doing that. And let's see. What else can I show you? Since you're in here, I might as well show you a few more things I got from Timu. And then we'll end this to the next time. Oh, let's talk about the Timu nails. Alright. Let me, let me angle you. Let me angle you right real quick y'all so and then I'll, I'll insert some pictures of the ones i already wore so you guys can see how they look on but let me show you 
the ones I'm wearing today. Now, this is the least favorite of my sh the shapes I like. I really like coffin shape or stiletto st shape nails. Not really with the, you know. Anyhow, but these are the ones I have on today. Now, what I did is I took my UV light and my um, regular gel nail that I would buy from Sally's. I have a whole video on it, so check that out. I'll leave it down in the description. And what I did is I put the nails on, but then I went over it with um with the gel nail just to add a shine because they don't come shiny these ones come matte and i'll show you you see how that one's shiny and my nail here is is this is matte and that's shiny because i did the gel nail on top i think if i feel like it helps them last longer and they're more stable okay so these timu nails I paid about a dollar fifty for them. Okay, so I'm wearing these right now. I wore these last week, along with what other ones did I wear last week? And I'm gonna post some pictures so y'all can see these. Those were so so pretty. I ordered like three or four more pair of these. Okay, so all of these I pay like a dollar something. These is going to go with one of my like over colorful little outfits. I did get some little um, ice cream ones. Yes, they're a little bit long for me, but I figured I have on a fun day I can do those. And um, I already started matching all of these nails with outfits in my app. I can't show you the app. I'll, I'll do a screenshot show of the app so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um... This one has some little charms. I'm usually not big on a whole bunch of embellishments on there, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to see. Okay. So that's that one. Um, ones. I already have my outfit picked out for what I'm wearing with this in my little app. There's an app called um, Wardrobe something. I'll, again, insert it where you can scan everything in your closet, and then it helps you make outfits of the things you have in your closet, which I think is the funnest and coolest thing. So... There's those. And again, I've got like probably, honestly, about 30 more pair on, on the way right now. Those. Those. <clears throat> I'm missing a pair. These right here. Okay. So those are some of them. I'm still waiting for some to show up. This is the nail glue that I use. And there's, I've actually bought some more too. I bought these, but I haven't tried them out. These are from Timu, but I haven't tried them out yet, but I will. I'll let you guys know the review on that. But here's this one. This is the one that I use. It'll stay on for, two, I say, maybe a week. I still got some dried up one because I just did them today. So it'll come off soon though. Um, I got messy on this one. But anyhow, this glue, I like this one's one of my favorite ones. Uh, CVS Walgreens, one of those. Anyhow. I'll just keep it still. You take a picture of it and you can pick some up. But I use this glue. Now, they do come with the little stickies. I don't use the little stickies. They come with these, you know, like kind of when we were kids. If you were in the 80s, baby. How they had the little sticky things, right? I, I don't use those. I let my daughters use that to put their little nails on. So, they'll stay on for two to three days. Um, sometimes you can get through, I'd say, a whole week if you really want to. Um, but me personally, I'm I, again, I change my nails according to everything else that's going on in my life so if i'm changing my clothes i'm changing my nails so i sometimes i'll change my nails daily so i like that they stay on but if you need to get them off you can get them off that's the best part and the other best part to nails like this instead of going to the shop um i still go to the shop to get my pedicure but the other best part in my opinion is that if you break a nail you can just pull one right on pull one right on out of your purse File it down and throw it back on there. That's the best part. You don't have to walk around with broken nails anymore or waiting to get an appointment. And you know that they don't want to give you an appointment for no one nail when they could take a client that has a whole set that needs to be done. So anyhow, that's that. Let's see what else real quick. I guess I could show you all my little new stuff. All right. And then I'm going to say goodnight because I'm tired. So here are the earrings I have right now. I've scanned most of them in. I still have some coming, but I still got to scan a lot too. And here is the little bracelets I need to restock. There's the rings I need to restock. If you guys want to see an in-depth of this, I think I've done one, but I have to look back and see. 
my daughter's been in this drawer. <laughs> she said, I can always tell when she's been in here. They love my jewelry, so they always come in here. And my grandbaby as well. They'll come in here and pull all the stuff out. All right. So if you guys want to see an in-depth look, let me know. We'll do that. All right, you guys, let's get into this app. It's called Get Wardrobe. You can see it there was a the little blue hanger. And these are the clothes that are in my closet at the moment, okay? These are the outfits that I have made out of some of my clothes. I just now started doing this. And I like doing this because I can put it on a schedule on a calendar that they have on this app. And it will show you what you've worn or you can schedule what you want to wear. So these are all the little outfits that I have corralled together and um, put in. I'm gonna show you how I put one together, but I am really, really enjoying this app. You can do business attire, you can label all the different items and it will show you the items versed based on type, based on color, based on um, if you're wearing it for casual or business or whatever and also everything is separated by you know tops bottoms accessories cosmetic you name it is there so you can see at the moment i have 710 items on my little closet um app i'm still scanning things in <laughs> i've made it through most of my clothes i got a little bit more to do but you can see here um, i have things on there from march the things i've worn in march a few things i wore in february um I'm trying to be more consistent <laughs> with taking a picture and putting it on there. But again, really, really interesting app. I've been really enjoying it. And I would really implore you guys to give it a try. And it's this has made my life so much easier. When I go shopping, you guys know I love to thrift. I'm Miss Thrift Store, Yard Sale, Swap Me, a Stay Sale Girl. I also like good department stores as well. You can catch me in all of those. But when I go shopping and if I want to know if something matches with one of my little crazy colored shirts, I can pull my phone out, pull up the shirt, and go ahead and match it. Or if I want to know, do I already have that necklace? Do I already have that bracelet? I can, again, pull it up and look and see what I have. So at first, it is hard to do because you have to put all your clothes in. But if you just take 10 minutes a day to scan things, then... It won't be that bad. Take a month and do 10 minutes a day of scanning your clothes in and it won't be that bad. So here I'm showing you how to do it. Here are some pictures I took of some earrings I just bought from Timu. You're going to highlight them. Okay. And it's going to download it. It has an AI. So it goes in and removes the background and then it labels it for you. Now, if you don't like the label that it gave your item, you can always go in and manually put what it is. Sometimes it'll get bracelets mixed up with, mixed up with, other things like um, belts and things like that. So you can always go in and change the color. You can change the name. You can change the category to your preference, okay? This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just really, really like <laughs> this app. This is not a sponsored video. But um, here you can see I have the earrings, took the background out of it, and you can label it and put it in there where you want it to go. Under accessories is where mines go. And I'm going to make sure that the um, color is right as well. You want to make sure that you get the right color. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to tap on that color little bar there. And I'm going to pick the right turquoise color because if I want to match up my clothes according to color, I want to make sure that it pulls those items. So did that. I'm going to save it and it's going to add it to my closet. It's as simple as that. And you do that with all of them. So now I'm going to show you how I throw an outfit together. Okay. Here's the little advanced editor. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to start clicking all the items I want for the outfit that I'm trying to make. I think these little earrings are so cute. So I'm going to go with that. There's this flower dress that I bought those earrings for specifically. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go through and find all of the other accessories like the shoes and the handbag and the bracelets and the necklace and the nails and whatever else I'm going to be wearing with it. I'm going to go through my different categories and look at what I have. I don't have that many shoes in yet. I'm still scanning in my shoes, but um, I love it. And so this is why I take pictures of my nails as well. But if you're ordering from Timu, what I found, you can just take the picture off of Timu's website and put it there. It saves you time. So if you're ordering clothes, just take that picture that's there and use that. Okay. So you can see 
I'm scanning, I'm scanning. I feel like I'm shopping at a shop <laughs> on this app. I feel like I have a, like I got a little department store, okay? It's really, really fun. So I'm going through, I'm finding all my stuff and I'm gonna corral it all together and you're gonna see in just a minute um, how it's placed. All right, now that we've got everything, well, most of everything, I'm gonna place it here. As you can see, you can size up or size down each item. I like to put my nails with each of my items. Um, the shoes, the earrings, the necklace, all of that stuff I put here. Um, and then I name it and then I allow it to add it to the rest of the outfits that I have just kind of sitting there on standby. So that way if I'm getting dressed and um, I can just go through and see what it is. I know where all my things are in the closet so it's not hard to find. But um, I think it's a really great system. Really, really great system. So if you get a chance, check out this app, you guys. It is a life changer. Just wanted to share it. To share with you guys how I turned this little outfit, this little scarf into a shirt like this. And it's going to be really cute. I can see it all in my head. I can see it all in my mind. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Remember to stay loving you. You cannot properly love someone if you don't love you. Remember to stay loving God because he is love. Remember to stay loving life because you're still here living it and enjoying it and taking in deep breaths, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay wrapped in scraps. Stay loving you. Stay loving God. Stay loving life. I'll say it again. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.